Okay, we began learning Parashishi, which is going through the spheros, so everything makes sense. And uh, the lower spheros, the second sphere is Kuru. Chesed mm -hmm. is kind of easy, how what you're supposed to do, Chesed, do Chesed. It's not really easy the way we understood it, because we understand it not as kindness, but as Hispashtus. And Givura is containing or, or boundaries to that uh, Hispashtus. That's the way we understand Givura. And then the term Givura surprises us with Da ki kol pulois hisairus yetzahara so the first thing we need to understand is that just like Hashem created Chesed and Gevura, He created Yetzer HaTov and Yetzer Hara. <coughs> so the Yetzer Hara is not um, the way we grow up thinking about it. as that little negative voice within us which says, do it. Just do it. Um, that's not Gevura's. That's kalos. That's the opposite of gvura. That's 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 weakness. But the Sahara is part of the bria, and 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 it comes. It falls into the sphere of gvura. It's hard to say we don't like gvura. Uh, gvura is one of the spheres of a kaddish It's part of the bria. You understand? It's like it's part of the technology of of the bria. That's what the spheres are. So you know, this part you know I, I don't like. It's like saying you don't like electricity because it gives you a shock. <laughs> Like just get rid of that out of the appliance. Right. Okay. Then, then. <laughs> <laughs> dangerous. It's, it's dangerous, but it's you know, they us that that it's exactly the gavura which is needed in the bria. Um, I said I said at the beginning of the week that the akeda was such that Avramavina was the midah of chesed and Yitzhak was the midah of gavura. Yitzhak was all boundaries. Hachad Yitzhak. It's always papachat. Avraham Avinu was tent open on all four sides. So the Akedah is the bonding of Avraham and Yitzhak where, look, some of my chesed has to go to you, Yitzhak, and some of your gvura has to go to me, hence we get a Yaakov. If not, um, you have Avraham, which is kulay chesed, which is kulay espashtus, and, the, and the, what comes out from this, the Ramchal says, is peradam. What comes out from Avraham, <laughs> Without Sarah saying no, 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 is is what comes out as a Yishmael, not a not a not a Yitzhak. Has Yitzhak to Yitzhak? Hmm? Has Yitzhak to Yitzhak? Right, Bukhulu. Not saying it's a different meter. It's a different it's a different meter. It's not the meter where we got to work down the spheres. All the avos are in the spheres. But um, Esav is the opposite of Tiferes. So, but let's stick to this, that, that, that chesed and gvura, if you don't have a gvura to the chesed, you end up with para adam, which is Yishmael. Para adam. <laughs> Yodoy bakol v'yad kol bai. No boundaries. No boundaries. And they live in a place that there's no boundaries. <laughs> Where they're pre-1907. <laughs> It's interesting that the in the Teichacha, uh, I always mention this in the Teichacha and Mishnah Torah. So it says, "Iknuuni b'loy el parshas kisav." It says, "Klai Yisrael um, went against me with godlessness. I will iknuunu name. I will hurt them b'loyam with a loam. A, a, a loam, you know, is a nation which is struggling to for statehood. You know, struggling to." It's a low arm. It's not really a people. Don't, it's not. It's not. Uh, also. It's yeah. also Hazino. Yeah, you can only be low arm. Right. A low arm is is no boundaries. An arm has a boundary. England is England. France is France. And America is America. There might not be any boundaries within, but there are boundaries. A, a low arm is no boundaries. I mean, you, you look at uh, Islam. It's the whole world is Islam. Yeah. It's not, it's not uh, like what do they want from this little you know caliphate over here? Like the whole world. They have, like the whole world. What do you want? What do you want from Syria? You know, like take the whole world. But the, the, so so we have. What what I'm getting to is the point I want to make is that when we talk about gavura, or we talk about Yitzhahara, so we're not talking about something which we have to live in spite of it. We're talking about part of the technology of the bria. Part of the technology of the bria is is gavura, and gavura is where 
Ra comes from. Ra comes from the Gevura. So hence, um, Yetzir Atov, Yetzir Hara. It's not just, um, the whole translation is wrong. In, uh, uh, evil inclination. A, a, a Yetzir is a Yetzira. Something which is created. It's a creation of Ra. Yetzir Hara. Yotzir Or Uvare Chosha. Chosha Shalom Uvare Sakal Bria. Yetzira. In Yetzira, in Atzilus Bria Yetzira, Yetzira is a very developed level of uh, in the Olamos of creation. It's not just so Ra and Toiv is much further developed than Chesed and Gvura. But because Chesed and Gvura are in the world of Bria, and it's Atzilus Bria, and, and Toiv and Ra is already in the Yetzira. Hashem started to talk about Tov and Ra when he created the world. And then we learned, we, we, we learned together the Zayar and Vayishlach that says that a person is created with created with Ra. <coughs> and then when he's Bar Mitzvah, he gets the Toiv, Yetzirah Toiv. So, it's, so it's, it's, it seems to be that it's even, you have to have the Yetzirah Hara before you have the Yetzirah Hatov, because the Ra is, without the Ra, as a quote from the Goyen on, on Monday, the Imre Noyam, uh, we couldn't possibly exist without Yetzirah Hara. You could possibly exist without Yetzirah Tov, but you can't exist without Yetzirah Hara. That's your survival. It's that you wouldn't get hungry, you wouldn't get thirsty, you wouldn't procreate. Um, the world would not exist. We wouldn't exist personally if not for the Koch Ra. Elamai. Uh, it's Ra. So, so why is it called Ra if it's so good? Baal Shem Tov goes so far as to say that Ra is Lashen Reus. He's your friend. Yahavta li Ra'acha. Come on. The Baal Shem Tov says it's serious. That, that, the, that the Ra is actually Toy. So I just, um, and the going was going on the Gemara that says, so again, the 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 usual way, I think, superficial way of understanding it is, use your yitzhara latov. Right? If you like to kill people, so kill Rishayim. You know, you know, get involved with the firing squad uh, division of the army, whatever. But, like killing people. But that that implies, I mean, that, that's it's all clapped the Adam. Itself. When Ra comes from outside, ISIS from So this Ra. is this is actually a very important point you're making. Like like we could talk about Ra in Gevura. You're making a very deep point. You talk about Ra coming from Gevura, it's within the person. But what about the Ra like evil? Which is called the evil inclination. So it's the Yitzira of Ra which is responsible for all Ra in the world, including the Ra which is within, but also includes the Nazis, ISIS, as you say. So, like, look, I'm, I'm not going, I can't explain Ra, but I want to try. Not I want to try, it is what, what the Hashkafe of this is, that we have to all understand that it's coming from, did I ever tell you a story just to give you, it's the moment of entertainment, uh, indulge me. <laughs> But, but um, years ago, when I first got married, a long time ago, third, almost 40 years ago, uh, when, when, I, when I first got married, so, um, you know, Hilchus Nida was fresh in my mind. So, you know, when, when you first got married, you teach other Hassan and Hassan places. So, um, at least that's what I did. So, I, I was loaded with this Hassan. Um, I remember it so well. I was, just, I was just married, and I had a little tiny apartment in Romema, and it was in a basement. And uh, it was winter, and the heat came from one of these uh, neft. Uh, yeah. Anybody remember those? Yeah. <laughs> neft heater. Yeah. Which um, once blew up in my face. Oh, yeah, and yes. and uh, I didn't have a lot. Uh, I lost my hope here. Um, yeah, I was. Well, I stuck my head inside to see why I wasn't working. <laughs> Ra. But um, raw, raw. Yeah. So, so I'm learning with this guy. He's actually. He was about Shiva, but a very, like, you know, pretty advanced Shiva guy, you know. So um, he was telling me how, he, while I was learning with him, he was telling me how um, he became from. I asked him, how did you become from? So he told me how he became from. So he tells me a story that um, that he was, you know, growing up, he grew up in a pretty normal family and everything, but growing up, he, he, um, he always had, like, this unbelievable desire to kill somebody. 
So this was not the reason I'm telling you that I was in a secluded, dark <laughs> basement. It was like, okay. <laughs> so he always had this desire to kill somebody, and but he's a good person. He's not going to go kill anybody. So he wasn't sure what to do. So it was time to be Vietnam era growing up. So he just had it easy. He'll go join the army. He'll kill somebody. You know. Remember the. Um, there used to be big billboards when I was a kid. You remember the big billboards that said, you know, yeah, like, uh, travel, Smith. travel the world, meet new people, and kill them. <laughs> 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 Join the U.S. Army. You know, that was the uh, 60s. But um, so he always wanted, so he joined the, he joined the Army, um, and he, and he um, said, okay, he's ready to go. He wants to go to action to Vietnam. You know. So um, he, he flunked the physical. But, you know, the problem was, like, once you join the Army, there's no, you know, you can't get out. Oh, okay, I didn't want so, so they put him in a kitchen. You know, working and, and he's killed chickens. Yeah, no, he would kill chickens, peeling like potatoes, and, and you know, the army food was no, no, no mahalath like, and he was getting more and more depressed, and um, uh, you know, then he became. He was telling me the whole story. Then he became you know, very depressed, and then he when he became an alcoholic because he was so depressed um, because he wasn't killing anybody. <laughs> so, um, he, so he got depressed, and then he came home. He came back you know, to the base drunk, and he punched his uh, his uh, senior officer. Um, so he got court-martialed, and then he went to jail. And, um, and then uh, Shlomo Karlbach came to visit the jail, and and got him out of there somehow, and sent him to um, to Eretz Yisrael. He went to Devar Yerushalayim, and then from Devar Yerushalayim he went to uh, started learning, and blah, 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 he became like a whole. Uh, now he's getting married. So I said to him, um, so I said, do you still, you know, <laughs> do you still, you know, want to kill somebody? So he says, more than ever. <laughs> this big smile is it. So interesting, like it never went away. So, okay, he didn't kill me, but um, <laughs> it just, it just, um, it stuck in my mind. But it is, this is not the end of the story. The end of the story is that maybe uh, 20, 25 years later, so uh, uh, I was, I think, in Muncie. So a fundraiser for the yeshiva came, and he was trying to compile a list of all the alumni of the yeshiva, so he can go ask them for money. So, so he said, do I remember this guy? Do I remember that guy? Tell me some more names, some more names, some more names. So I said, and then there's this guy. I don't know where he is now. You know, uh, named this fellow. I wonder where he is. Like, all oh, these are 25 years later. Everybody's lost. So he says, no, no, he's in touch with him. He owns a gun store in Los Angeles. <laughs> <laughs> nice to show you. <laughs> he still owns a gun store in Los Angeles. So, um, so yeah, there's a from guy with a black hat and everything, and he owns a gun store in in, in Los Angeles. Oh, so, what, what do what do I uh, want to bring out? I'm not sure. But look uh, <laughs> whether this bad got Right. Yeah. No, so the po the point is that like there's there's a mita. <laughs> well, no, but I, I th here's the point. There's a mita of ra, which is it ra? Uh, in other words, is it something that he should have kind of like knocked out of his system? Or is it like the Goyen says, can we, can we open up our minds to understand that somehow or another, maybe this koach of Ra within him was a certain koach of Gvura, which was making him into, which was, which was pushing him along. And Baruch Hashem, he has married kids now, he's, I mean, he's okay. But, um, but the point is, maybe this koach of Ra wasn't, it, like it manifests itself as a way to kill somebody. It even caused him to make a living selling guns. But the Metzius is that there was something alive within him which was pushing him. There was a certain ambition. There was a certain something, drive. certain drive there to, that uh, maybe maybe um, you and I don't have. So, which so it's not just about um, you know like so the Goyen said such a beautiful lush. I didn't bring it, but such a beautiful lush. And the Goyen said that the purpose of the Eitzer Hara is not to give you something to conquer. It's the lush of the girl. So it's not like your whole life is there. I created Eitzer Hara, kill it. Um, not because. It's 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 the Yetzirah Hara is a positive. He's your friend. It's a positive <coughs> koach in the Bria, and that's the koach of Gvur. Nobody could take Gvur off the off the uh, chart. Gvur is an important part of the chart, but it's a it's a it's a piece of us which obviously has to be Hamtokas Hadinim has to be with Chesed, and you have to end up with a Tiferes, and you can't let it go. Right. So Darren asked the question: What about the what about the evil outside of us? How, how do you how do you deal with that? So the truth is. There, there's no difference because 
Um, as much as it's difficult to, for us to be this, but this is what all the Swarm say, even Ms. Lisa Sharm and Barakat Gimel, says that, that what we need to understand is that when Akarish Baruch Hu, that what he says is that there's a macro level and a micro level. So on a micro level, Ra is Ra. Evil is evil, and, and nobody wants to be in a concentration camp, uh, right? That's, that's Pasha. But then, then there's a macro level, which, we, which is unexplainable, probably, and we need to humble ourselves to. And that is that Sof Kol Sof, HaKadosh Baruch Hu, the, the, the Manhig, the Lashon of Mesil Susharm, I think, is the Manhig HaKarbanit, the, 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 the ship's captain, has a Mahalaf over here. And, uh, and, and, you know, where it's easier for us to look back at the Harbin Beis Amikdash, we're talking about on Shabbos a couple of weeks ago, that, that uh, <laughs> Tzadik Hashem Alekeinu, HaKadosh Baruch Hu is the Tzadik, Fayishkoit Hashem Alaro, that HaKadosh Baruch Hu created the Golos of Yechon Yahu, 12 years before the Golos of Tzitkiyahu, and we thought, oh, yeah, Naris Bavel, Sham Yashav, Nugam Bochino, we were crying and crying, but the end of it, the, the Pasuk says, uh, Daniel says, Ki Tzadik Hashem Alekeinu. What was the Tzadik? Because these 12, these, these, they, 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 he took out the Masker and the Chorosh, took out all the big Talmidei Chacham, the Buchanetzer, to drain the Jewish community of Eretz Israel and sent them in Golos to Bavel. What did they do in Bavel? They opened up butcher shops and yeshivas and kolelim, and, and, and by the time the Golos at Kiyo, which was the Amaretz, got to Bavel, it was Lakewood. It was, it was all, it was all there. A muchin and muchin and right? So, so what we were crying about somehow had a good effect in history. So that's the small look at history. If you look at a bigger macro level of history, 600 years later, Chorban Bayisheni, there was still a community in Bavel because of the Golos Yuchan Yahu that was all set with Tyra and, and Shmuel was the Rebbe of, 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 of Bavel. And we have the Talmud Bavli, which went for another 500 years with Ravina Nervashi. So, so we have, and, and the Goinim, this, this is all, so if you, take the, if you take the micro look at history, this is very, very painful. If you look at the macro, um, which is very difficult. I don't think anybody is expected to feel good about this. Um, but, but what we can do is hashkafically at least Look at the hum, hum, humble ourselves to the big, big picture. It's, 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 a very, it's a very difficult thing to do, but humble ourselves to the big picture. Now we have Eretz Israel. Right. So I don't, I don't think we're there yet. I think it's too early because Eretz Israel is not a good enough matchup for right, six right, million right. Jews. Right. So <laughs> that's to say that the ra, external ra of God comes on the individual. That individual needs to say, that's Ratzon Hashem for me. It's, or at least for everybody, it's Ritzon Hashem. So, so everybody, like I say about the electricity in the refrigerator, you can't get rid of it. But I mean, everybody knows that that without um, pushback, you know, without resistance, you know, you don't, you don't get anywhere. Like it, everyone knows that if you want to be athletic, you have to lift weights or run long times, or you have to do things that. that I'm not. I don't mean to. I don't want to fall into the superficial idea of no pain, no gain. Doesn't hurt. You didn't do anything. I'm, I'm, I don't mean that. I mean, I mean that it's 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 very possible that the ra in the world somehow or another um, creates a, a matz of, of tov as a pushback. So Reb Tzadik goes so far as to say that that the um, if not for the fact that there would have been this is the only Reb Tzadik I believe that Rav Cook brings. I think so. That if not for the ra. If not for the, the, the low madrega of assimilation that we reached in, with Mordechai and Esther and Shushan in Persia, there would not have been a Bayashani. There would not have been um, a, a massive tshuva movement. If we think we have the Baal tshuva movement today, there was a massive tshuva movement in, in Persia. I mean, look at it like adults, not as a Purim story. Was a, that's the real pure Purim story. There was a massive Baal tshuva movement. Why? Because of one thing, Hama. And this, the Gemara says, God Sars HaTabas, that, that Haman did more with, with Achashverosh's ring for, for, for the Jewish people than, than, than uh, all the Nevi'im and all the, all the Nevi'im put together. So we all know the Gemara, but, but what, is he, what is the Gemara saying? So Reb Tzadik points out, what the Gemara is simply saying is that the Ra was toif. If not for the Ra of Haman, Haman was the Shliach, he was the, the, uh, the you know, the, the Lubavitch Rebbe of the Tar, not a, <laughs> Mahabdullah of Abdullah. So in other words, he, he brought more people to Tshuva than Reb Dolph Weinberg, right? I mean, he, he, was, he, was, he was like an amazing Kiruv operator. Um, why? Because, because Gadol has what you see. Yoyser mi mem ches neviyas v'zayin neviyas, before she So So Reb Tzaddik says, I think I, I hope I quoted the right place. I remembered it, and I was trying to remember. I wanted to read it to you. 
and Suffolk says, <coughs> I think this is the right one. In the base, Tidka Satsadik, Al Yatame Odom, Imir Rashaim, Misrabin, Boil, and Boil, and Muscat, Lumbachol, Young Isis. Al Yatame. By the way, Isis is an easy one. Uh, Rashaim killing Rashaim. You know, you know, as Jews, like we're a lot of, I mean, her, we've gotten to the place in the world that the world allows us to, you know, you're not, you're not supposed to kill us, but how dare we kill anybody else? Right? Like we're not, that for sure, we're not allowed to do so. If we, if we kill a, a Hamasnik, so like, you know, you're, you're Jewish, so of course, don't kill people. Like, you're not allowed, to, you're not allowed to kill people. I mean, a, but, but you know, if if ISIS takes over the border, now ISIS is is, is prepared to war with Hamas. So if they become our neighbors. It was like, hey, this is a fantastic thing. We can kill everybody, and the world will say Yeshur Koach. Except the only thing is, then all of a sudden ISIS will become Sadiq. <laughs> it's like a they're not the same ISIS, right? Yeah, does it? What are you killing? <laughs> Nabuch, children. <laughs> I, I'm not. Listen, I'm not a political. Uh, I'm just saying that it's that's that's already easy. But uh, so it says the Rishonim, Yada Shashem Yisbaruchu Baal Hakaren. Person has to know that the Kodesh Baruch Hu is the Baal Hakaren. Is there any tachlis and in, in weeds in the garden? Does anybody know? Yeah, no, but we pull them out. Right. Uh, what's the purpose? Give us exercise. Come on, David. <laughs> right. What's the purpose of weeds in the garden? Weeds in the garden? Weeds. Why did I yeah. put them there? Because they do stuff on the soil. Yeah. They open up the soil and everything. Now, if you let them go, they, they kill everything because it's too much. But what they do is the, the weeds have, are very, very strong, and they have a koach to, to break through the soil and then allow the, the, the good plants to grow. So the Gemara talks about weeds. I think Bart talks about shmarim. Fascinating. Shmarim is the sediment in wine that Gemara talks about, which is terrible. Uh, um, it's terrible stuff. But it's the sediment in the wine which gives the wine its alcoholic, um, okay. its alcoholic property. And it's the sediment in the wine which is virtually poison, which is mesameach es habriyais. This is Reb Tzadik in his shot in the Gemara. Mm -hmm. It's the sediment. You know, you know how you make grape juice. You kill the sediment. You boil the boil the, the, the grape juice, and you kill the sediment. There's no enzyme there to make it to make it alcoholic. So alcohol, alcohol is good. So this is mesameach yain yisamach lavav enoish. It's only because of the shmarim and the shmarim I was showing. So it's mashu from the gemara and brach and stuff. Yeah, it's a it's a it's a, it's a half a dick of thick. So are the shmarim good or are the shmarim bad? It's not the chat that, okay, well, you know, we have a Muna that they're good. It's not, <laughs> we, you, you can see that they're good. So it says, Rav Tzadik, Yada Hashem Yisbaruch Hu Baal HaKerem. Kumuvor b'vam metziah pe gimel v'yodeya tivoy shal kerem yoysim rimenu. Kaddish Baruch knows how to work the kerem, the vineyard, better than we do. So listen to this chat, unbelievable. Chazal Omer Sad, Sad Hedrin Sad Chesam et Alf. Ben David, Mashiach, right? Efshir shiyavei bedar shikulei chayav. What does it mean? Or bedar shikulei toy? Bedar shikulei toy. Everybody understands Mashiach. Bedar shikulei chayav. We try to understand. How could a bedar shikulei chayav? Everybody's bad. How does that? How's that going to bring Mashiach? So what's the simple shot? The simple shot is well, it's so bad we're going to get lost, and a kodesh baruch is going to save us. The fault, mentesh. Hmm. The fault, mentesh. Like Mitzrayim. Ben David Shiavai Bedar Efshir Shiavai Bedar Shukulei Chayiv. What does it mean? Diyamid Melech Koshek Ahamon. A door Shukulei Chayiv means a door that's going to have a Hamon. Shiyashuva B'Tshuva, which will bring us all to Tshuva. Ramur Chazal is a door Chaviv Mikol Adar is a door Hamidbar. Nei Shazachol Kabbal is a Torah. For Shbaruch who loved the door that came out of Mitzrayim. V'chein Al Dori Shol Shleima Melech Halav Shalom Shinispasu L'Chayilam Haba. The door that the two doors that Hashem liked is where Shlomo Melch built the base of Mikdash and the Dorei Shalom Midbar, where we received the Torah. Two great events in in Bein Tzarech Leimer Dorei Shalom Mashiach. That's my cut enough test. So, so the three great Dorei's are the door of Makabel Atayra, the door of Binyan Beis of Mikdash, and the door of Shalom Mashiach. Our door. We can design. 
It's a darsha, it could be a darsha kulei chayev. How could a Kosh Baruch love the dar, which is kulei chayev? Answer is, because in a dar that's kulei chayev, it'll become like, like the dar of Persia, and we'll all do tshuva. If, if, if you hear of Cook, quotes this from Tzadok, <clears throat> and he says, if, if he walks around, it's, a, it's just so moving to understand what this man's mind, if, if he walks around Eretz Yisrael, the more he sees that the Jewish people have fallen into the, into the biggest kind of tumma possible, the happier he is. So he says, the light, and he explains, he says, He says, I hate it. But I also know deep inside that, that this is going to come to it. The bounce, the, the bounce back on this is going to come to is going to come to Mashiach. He saw this as like it's, wow. it's this is going to bring Mashiach. And he quote, this is where he quote, I, like he doesn't quote anybody ever. Oh, he doesn't quote anybody, but he certainly doesn't quote Rabbi But here he quotes Rabbi Tzadik. <clears throat> Let's read you a little bit more because I'm here and I love this. Shoshana <coughs> shebena I'll say that Balachuva are more chashuv than tzaddikim, right? Maybe the pshat is that um, if, if we become Balachuva, so then zdoinois nasa kishuyos. So every avera becomes a mitzvah. So if we really assimilated bad, we got more mitzvahs than anybody else in history. <laughs> But it sounds it sounds like a little guilty on her puzzle here. <laughs> it's 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 much it's a deep thing. Because when you have to make a big comeback, you're going to we're, we're, as a generation or as individuals, so it's it's going to become bigger than if we were just Tzadikim Gimurim. So so the real Tzadikim out there are, are not gonna be the, the, the wonderful Tzadikim of Mayasharam, but it's gonna be the Hamarna. Which is coming back. Now, can you hear us? We should, we should see it. Mm -hmm. Almost see it, I think. Uh, but just, to, just, to, just again. While I'm here, I just like the, we need to see this. But the only way, I, I think, the way to see this is to. I'm just talking in my opinion, take it or leave it. It's not about making like big discovery seminars or renting out stadiums and, and, and telling people about Torah. It's just like about like talking to, to like just just to have to take away all the fences. That exists between the people, and it's almost—it's almost—it's um, almost niten mi'ela. There's nobody that hasn't had this experience, whether it's in a in a, in a, in a shop or in a taxi, or where where just simple conversation um, is right away bringing to. I walked. I was I was a sandik on for my grandson on uh, what was it last week, and uh, afterwards I had to get some something printed in down, downtown Beit Shemesh here, and. Uh, so he so so I already printed up a picture. So he said, the guy says to me, complete earring, your earring, your like a tattoo. Um, he says to me, oh, you were a sandak today. So so I say yes, begilu yirash, begilu yirash. But I said, tenli bracha. Okay. So if I was a real litvak, I would say, listen, you want a bracha, keep shabbos. You know, but, uh, <laughs> Which is true, but but I'm just saying that like. Uh, so you just thought. Huh? So you just thought. <laughs> no, but it's the chemist, not really. Like, uh, the, 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 it's a it's a there's a possibility here of bottoming out and coming back. So that's what Tzadik brings over here. Then we become yoiser adifa mitzadikim gemara mutshuva asher shiyeh berega echad, and this whole tshuva could take one minute. One minute. To the muchach perek sheni the kedushin anu mevakshim hashivenu hashem elacha vin na shuva. Like that. is in, in Echarabo is saying, Shuva Eli, just make a move towards me and I will make a move towards you. So if we have a terrible door, it's going to be the best thing. All of those thorns, all of those weeds, 
be scholars should go much according to how you how you call it will be a big giloy that's saying everything had to be one of, one of the things that'll be when, when Mashiach comes probably one of the most frightening but one one of the most wonderful moments of Mashiach coming is the giloy it's the giloy of all of history so I'm a little bit I play with history so to me it's like like such an exciting moment like the giloy of history how everything had to be so it, it comes to, it come back to the point when we talk about ra outside ra inside ra yetsahara or evil in the world we're talking about um, we're talking about the midah of gevura this is the gevura hashem and you can't you can't take the gevura off the off the chart off the sphere chart so it's chesed gevura you can't let the gevura you can't let the weeds take over but that but at the same time, the worst thing to do would be to kill a Russia. Because, because you're losing such an energy of, of, of Tov that can possibly be. Except the Malik. Hmm? Except the Malik. Except the Malik. Because a Malik is, is, the, is the Ra itself. That's the, in other words, it's the Ra gone. Is there? Gone, gone. You have to pull out the weeds. But but you don't you don't want to kill. Just I just it just I mean there's a not, why are there a thousand Michelle of like this because this is the bria. <laughs> that when when you find something that there's a thousand examples of it it means that's good for the way the bria works so so the so electricity works with positive and negative. I just finished a long round of antibiotics and what does every single doctor tell you? Why well, you take antibiotics? Be careful take probiotics. I, I, so I said to the doctor I said what are you, what are you worried about? He said well it's killing all the bacteria so I said so you saw eat dirt like but I have to you know I was just you know just won't wash my dishes you know like you know what's what's the if you don't have um, bacteria in your body so then there's nothing which is rare the toy and you can't live you can't live with just good you just can't live that way so everybody you have to have so LMI what's an infection where it goes it goes, it goes awry, you know, it goes, but if, 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 you, if you keep it in check, so then it's chesed gvorti ferris, and you end up with something which is perfect. So that's, that's the yachas of, of, of the Yetzer hara. So it says the, um, sorry. Daki chol pulay, so let's learn a little bit of the term of Dvar. Daki chol pulay, so it's oiris yetzer hara, him mamish moiris me oiri rois ha gvora chazakes, that you have to be careful with the Yetzirahara because the Yetzirahara is tied into the Gevura. L'kach lo yisnon eya Yetzirahara shlo yore Gevura. So if you activate the Yetzirahara, you have to know that you are activating the Gevura within, which is not a bad thing, but it's a danger beware. Vatam. And a person is created with two creations within him. You, you, you know, I, I want to say pshat. I think it's right that um, the Pasuk goes, Yotzerar uvare choshech, Ose shalom uvare ra. Pasuk where? Tila? Ose Shalom Ubore Ra. So, um, Patrick Nessus Agdola, Kilu, you know, didn't want us to have to say that before our first cup of coffee. So, Yotzer Ubore Choshech, Ose Shalom Ubore Sakol. Let's go easy on the people. That's a simple chat. We say Ubore Sakol, we forget about the Ubore Ra. So, here's my chat. So why did they change it to Ubore Sakol? Because Ra combined with Toif is Hakol. <laughs> In other, in other words, you don't have a, a healthy ganskite. You don't, you don't have a healthy ganskite in something unless you have toiv and ra. You don't have it. You know, you're positive without negative. You, 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 don't, you, don't, you don't have it. There's no survival. There's no tshuva. There's no... So, so Chazal didn't just take out the ra. Okay, what can we stick in there? They, they were saying shot. 
that Yotzer of Arich Hoshech Ose Shalom Uvoire Ra, oh, let's just get right to the point. Once we have all that, or Hoshech Ra, we have Hakol. Why don't they just say it was a Hakol? That they did. Yotzer Hakol. Yotzer of Arich Hoshech Ose Shalom Uvoire is in the Lashon of Bria. Right, that's how we're going over there. We're going Atzilus, Bria, Yitzira, right? Asiya. So Yotzer are, we're down here. Uborei Choshech, Ose Shalom is down here. Uborei mm-hmm. up here is a kol. At the, at the, at the beginning, it's and therefore at the end, the kol, the kol is all is all toy. Uborei is a kol. Meaning Hashem creates everything. That's that's the kol kulay shal shal debriya. Hashem Baruch Hu creates everything. This is the technology of the debriya. The question is, can we humble ourselves to it? Can we? Are, are we? Are, is it possible for us to be able to say, like, to explain ra is ridiculous? That's why I don't buy. It. Like, okay, not for the Holocaust, we don't have the state of Israel. Yeah. It's not good enough for me. But what is good enough for me? I mean, I like the state of Israel, but it's not good enough but to to kill my grandfather. But, but what, what is good enough is that Kodesh Baruch Hu, it, you know, let me give you one more example of the Guru Gaudi. Like you take, um, R- R- Sadek explains, um, you know, Misa is a pretty, the, the, the whole Indian of Misa. Um, so in, an encounter with death, that's a pretty, pretty dreary, like, you know, subject. Right? Like, what's a death it's like? Ritzanik says that, like, the emesis, if, if you look at the idea of, of, of maves, the idea of death, what, what, what you're looking at is an encounter with eternity and infinity. It doesn't make us, you know, like, get excited about death. I'm just saying that it's, it's not a... Um, a negative died. It is negative because we all want to live, and it's tragic when somebody dies without question. And and none of us want to die unless, unless there's something wrong with us. That's something that's that's put in there that we want to we want to live. But in the technology of it, we want to live. It's, it's, it's Well, I'm not sure whether it comes from Chesed or to want to want to live. But but the the encounter the the concept Tachshev Biyoyim Hamisa. Like Tachshev Biyoyim Hamisa doesn't mean get depressed. Here's a new shot. Like the Gemara says, if you want to do an avera and you can't seem to hold yourself back from doing the avera, so you try this, you try that. Uh, you, uh, you know, but so the Gemara says, tachshev b'yoyim hamisa. The Gemara brachas. So what's the simple shot? The simple shot, tachshev b'yoyim hamisa, is like oive, like uh, uh, and I, I better not do this avera because I'm going to burn in hell if I do this avera, right? So you tachshev b'yoyim hamisa. You start thinking about like you know all the devils in the pitchfork. And all the Sheva Madura Gehenim that, that's going to come on me. You know, maybe it's true. But that's not what the Gemara means. I don't think the Gemara means. Rabbi Sadiq says, Tachshev B'yoyim Hamisa is understand that right now what's what's pushing you to Chet is a very, very temporary klipa called the Guf. It's not something which has any uh, longevity to it. It's not something. It's just a Guf. You're going to shed it. It's going to go away. But Tachshev B'yoyim Hamisa means, means think eternity, not in terms of long time. Think infinity in terms of understanding, get, get a perspective on alumni. So once you start talking, well, you know, like if, if you join the dead, I'm not recommending that we become a suicide cult here, but I'm just saying, if you join the dead, you're, you, you've got a much bigger crowd. <laughs> <laughs> you've got, then you've gone the way of the, of not, not just all the diaries before us, but also the way of the malachim, and also the way of the like. Now, now you're part of this infinity, this eternal. This that's uh, where the party's going. This happening. Well, that's that's the happening place. Yeah, yeah that's, the, that's for sure the happening place. Why did, we don't have to go to that. Just, you don't want to go. We have to go to that. And then consider that. Actually, that actually, you know, consider it's a potentiator for like like the resistance in a potentiator. Or uh, activate the good for you to. Huh? So how? How does it activate good? So not because of fear of punishment. This is what says. Not because of fear of punishment. Because the inspiration of, of the of the of the infinity. Tachshev v'yamam avhes. 
is a total lefas lebesa avel, and lefas lebesa mishta. Lebesa mishta is a celebration of this world. Lebesa avel is a celebration of, of infinity. So infinity is good. But like people like to go look at the ocean because they're looking at infinity. Horizon. Yeah. They're looking, you see forever, right? So, so like there's nothing blocking, you know, and, and you know how deep it goes. So, so this, this, this look, at, this look at, at infinity is a perspective which is actually inspiring. But why, what's the point? The point is that the Ra is not Ra. Ra is we all have to live Ra Acha Kamocha. Right. It's, it's, it's your friend, Reus. Ava, Ba'achva, V'shalom, Reus, Ra. That's the Ra. What's that potential? That's, and I know it's why we are alive, obviously. The Makir, this Ra, how does that potential exist? The maximum we can expect of ourselves is to accept that Ra, as bitter as it is now, is part of the Cheshvanatum. Part of the macro. But how many people can really appreciate Ra the symptom? I don't know how many people like numbers, but if you, if you understand it, you can appreciate it. Rabbi Kiva, how you On the same level as Tov. Rabbi Kiva thought it was funny. Like, he, he, <laughs> Rabbi Kiva laughed. So, what is Nicham Tani, Akiva, Nicham Tani? I say this at the end of every uh, Tisha B'Av. I'll, I'll say it again this year. Nicham Tani, Akiva, Nicham Tani, that Nechama. Is Vayinachim Hashem al kol al kol Hashir Asa. Vayinachim doesn't mean comfort. Vayinachim means to turn things upside down. Nichamtani Akiva Nichamtani that Akiva had the ability to see the picture of history. Oh, the Navi says the says there's going to be Harbin. Um, the Navi Yirmiyos says there's going to be Harbin. The Navi Zachariah turn a few pages. Zachariah says there's going to be Binyan. There's, 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 we're, we're part of history. So what did Rabbi Kiva? He saw something better, better than obviously his own comfort. He, he, it, it was about seeing the macro look of history, where, where the Ra was actually toiv. The, the, the Ra was actually toiv, and somehow or another, um, if not for that Ra, by the way, the Horbin by his Rishon, let's say there wouldn't have been Talmud Bavli. If not for the, there wouldn't have been Yiddishkeit. If, the, if not for the Horb by Shani, there for sure would not have been Yiddishkeit. So it's, 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 we would have been temple centered and. You know, like this, we, there wouldn't have been gullahs. We wouldn't have spread out. We wouldn't. So the the point is, can can we? I don't I don't know if we, darn, I don't know if we're able to understand the macro picture. Maybe Akiva understood it, but what we can do is is humble ourselves to it. That's that's the point. And, and at the same time, we can we can humble ourselves more than Yan. Um, we can humble ourselves to the Eight Sahara. We, but like the Eight Sahara is humbling in the sense that. Like when, 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 when a person feels the Yitzhahara, like, and the Gemara says, like strong, like don't, don't just like your Yitzhahara just become, you know, don't become an old person, but get it activated, you know? <coughs> why? Because the, why, why? Why should you activate your Yitzhahara? Better to, the, the answer is because it's dangerous, but by activating the, 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 the bacteria, Shaboy, you're activating the Toiv, and if not my Yitzhahara, we wouldn't do anything good. We wouldn't do anything good. That's the, the, the we would have no drive. We would have no, we would have no toe. If not for out, we would have no gvura. We would have no gvura. So everything that takes a little bit of gvura takes a little bit of rock. And, and that's, that's the nakuda. I'm sorry, I didn't go further, but I just want to get this introduction 100% clear. So someday we'll start on them, pierce your desire. I saw a story, a story of uh, the toe. What the dragon? The guy with the gun. So the Shabbat uh, said he took his, he took his Zahara and he used it for good. But I think he was trying to say something much deeper. Of course. That it wasn't that he used it for the good and he and what he and he's not a Shomer Shabbos. Uh, right, supporting yeshivas with his gun store. Right, but rather that this Ra is really. First of all, if not really for good. the Ra, he would have never become a yeshiva boss. Right. It never would have happened, but, but but I'm not even saying that. I'm saying something deeper than that. But that's that's first of all. Forget about the gun store supporting you know uh, supporting the coil, but, uh, the, the you know taking an ad in the journal, Moshe's <laughs> 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 guns. <laughs> but besides besides that, like, it was definitely it was there was something burning in him, right? H H two Kav There was something burning in him which was causing. It's action. Activating. 
Yeah, so he crossed the, you know, he, he crossed good. the sea and he learned it was good. <laughs> It's good. It's good. Maybe you're at Rabbi Yochan and saw that in Mishlakish. For sure. I'm not making it. It's like this. It's just a massive. That's a Lashem. Chelcha Lairaisa. That's a Lashem. Chelcha Lairaisa. I think the, me- the most obvious me- mechanism or potential is that Yom Ra'as Hashem and Makhav Kabbis Haram. There's a cutoff date. Whether it's a thousand years or a hundred years or seven years, there's a cutoff date. And if, you know, Here's where the uh, and, so, and so what do you eternity, see from there, though? The eternity tells you that you're currently in, in, that's that's where the Ryan types start. Uh, I mean, the eternity is explaining the the, the state we're in. Yeah, that's but right. it's the state we're in, not yeah, you know, that's totally, not because that you want to become a holy, not me, so. but not because you want to become a holy roller because you realize that you're in your this your your Yitzri Haras are so irrelevant as compared to what you're really about, but rather that. It potentiates, it activates you doing it now because this is, you're on stage Said. now. Said. What, would you say that that it's only Ra once Tov enters the picture? That's why you, at, at 13 it becomes Tov. But until until Tov, until 13, it's not. It, you wouldn't call it Ra. When do you call it Yitzhar Ra? It's only hakol. it's Hakol, right? But but it's not it's not Ra. Is that? Is that is it's, it's not Ra. It's, it's, it's just Tov. tov. It's no, ra. there's no Tov. Right. So it's. <laughs> Right. I don't know what you, can't have, you can't have rot until you have a potential of toe. Yeah. Right. Potentially. You call it a survival, but it's called Yetzirah because rot doesn't mean bad. No, it means bad, sur- but it means bad only when Tov enters right. the scene, right? Right. 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 You know, I was, I was um, talking to this person yesterday who was a, um, actually, I said that, how he got to me was a whole story, but uh, it was actually like a Hasidic guy, a uh, um, Satmar guy from Williamsburg who went completely off the derech and he became a movie star. <laughs> and he plays like Hasidish guys. Because <laughs> he's played, speaks perfect Yiddish, and he knows the whole, you know, he knows the whole way of walking and the whole way of talking. Like, he knows the whole. So, um, we complete, complete, uh, I'm, I'm an atheist. I'm, you, know, like he's, you know, he told me he did a show, he's an atheist. You know, it's, it's, uh, it's, uh, it was a very, a very interesting. Uh, so, it was, so, he's telling me how, um, I mean, he came to speak to me about a, a Cousin of his, is it? but uh, Beit Shemesh. But he he um, he was telling me that like you learn so much like in the acting world, um, like you learn so much about life. So he was giving me one of the things that he one of the examples. He lives, lives in California. He lives in, in Hollywood. He's done, he did this movie. I don't know. He's always it's a famous movie. I don't know. Uh, Miriam and something or another. I don't know, a movie about a Hasidic woman who had an affair or something. So he's the Hasidic husband <laughs> in this movie. But he was saying to you that, that in, the, in the acting world, like you have to sometimes you have to get like really angry. So like you have to get really angry at his wife for having an affair, right? So you have to get really angry. So how do you like make yourself get really angry? So he said to me that the, the derech is, that let's say you, you do the filming at uh, 11 o'clock in the morning. Until 11 o'clock in the morning, you don't eat anything and you don't go to the bathroom. And by the time you get there, like you're ready to explode. <laughs> Trick of the trade, so, and it, like you're like you're really upset, you're really anxious, you're really angry, then you're a good actor. So, so he was good, like to give me a bushel how the ra has to be used. What type? I told him you're such a shaita. <laughs> I, 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 I told him like you know you have so much talent and you have so much um, koach and so much insight and, and uh, what are you doing with that? Yeah, like, like just you know. So he was abused in, in, in Williamsburg, so like you're going to let something happen when you're 10 years old to affect your whole life, your whole eternity, and your whole world. I hear what you're saying. Unfortunately, you're better than that. Sorry, um, Kovish's Yitzro is not like, I mean, when we say Kovish's Yitzro, it's not, we're, we're not looking to kill it. Kovish. You're saying it's a lush Kovish. Because we want to conquer it. Use not conquer to destroy, conquer to. I, I would imagine the gardener would plant weeds. Or tree. I mean, our son does it for you. Or tree, 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 to break, tree to break up the soil. Yeah. That's the same thing. The weeds are easier than. So tree. conquer to do good. With it. I mean, that's what we're saying. It's an energy. It's an energy. It's a koach. I, I think it goes much more electricity. Should, 